Hello, good evening everyone. How are you? I hope this Thursday evening finds you well. Good evening. Time for some paper crafting fun. Hope you're looking forward to it. Okay guys, I've got you held up in my hands. Um, I'll pop you in the tripod in a minute and we'll get down to some fun crafting. Good evening, Chloe. How are you? I hope you're well. Hope you're good. Tonight's card was inspired by a friend of ours, somebody in our uh, Coffee and Cards group, uh, one of my team. It was inspired by her because she has a night cam and she has a little hedgehog that um, visits her garden at night and she's been videoing him and posting on her Facebook every day and you can go and have a look at Horace and his antics. and. A couple of nights ago, another hedgehog appeared and she had two. And I just love it. And I saw this stamp set and thought of her, so it's inspired by Jo. Okay. Good evening, Jan. Hope you're well. So we're going, going to use this really cute stamp set. I'll show it you and then we'll turn you around. It's called A Walk in the Woods. Walk in the Woods. And it's got this really cute little hedgehog on there. How sweet is he? Loads of lovely images and words. So we're going to use that. Right, without further ado, I'm going to turn you over. Okay, here we go. Hold tight, don't get sick. <laughs> here we go. Just take my finger out of the lens would be useful. See my chamois looking a bit grim, isn't it? <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Right, good evening, Margaret. Hope you're well. Let's get this in shot. Yeah, that's a bit better. So a walk in the woods. I'm going to just move my grid paper slightly. There we are. I've not got my laptop out. I didn't think we needed it. So I'm sure I can see the comments as they go by on my camera. Let me just put this straight. A little bit of tape on the end, stop it moving around. So walk in the woods and look at these nice sentiments. Wishing you every kind of wonderful. Everything will be okay. Um, the world needs more of what you are. I love that one. Uh, thanks for being marvellous. The adventure begins. And then we've got these lovely images. The hedgehog. Got, I'm lost without you. We've got a leaf and we've got these gorgeous toadstools. So we're going to play with it. And I can't wait. Now I've got my light on. Let's put my other light on and see. Good evening, Claire. Hello, Rachel. Let's see if I can do this without making too much shadow. So for my front of my card, I've got a piece of Whisper White and this is 9.5 by 13.8 centimetres. It does have a bit of shadow, doesn't it? How's that? Right, we'll try without. And if that's too dark, let me know and I'll pop the light back on. I think I've just, because of the time of day, I've got a bit of shadow from my camera itself. Alfie's coming in. He's decided to join us. Can you hear him barging in the door? Hold on while I shut the door. That's quite an entrance for a dog to make, isn't it? <laughs> he likes to join in with our Facebook lives. Right, let's crack on. I'm going to show you a couple of little tricks with this stuff that you might already know. So I've got the toadstools. Um, right, let's have a look. Where is the little hedgehog stamp? I had them all out ready to go and I put the hedgehog back in. Look. Silly me. Take him out. We need him first. All right. So let's mount him up on a block. He's a cling stamp. So he's red rubber that mounts on the block. Good evening, Jean. How are you? I hope you're well. So I'm going to stamp. First of all, I'm going to stamp my little hedgehog around here because I'm going to leave room for my mushrooms and my toadstools and my grass. So I'm going to stamp him here and I'm going to use Memento Black Ink to stamp him to make him stand out. And he's super cute. So I hope Joe sees it. Good evening, Helsey. Hope you're all right. So, yeah, we're going to stamp him. He's super cute. Right here, just in black ink. Not sure if he's stamped. How adorable is he? 
He's so nice. So cute. Right, let's put him out of the way. Put that one out of the way. Right, okay. Now I've got a little trick for you. I want to stamp my... Um... Hi, Sally. You're doing okay. I'm glad. I want to stamp my grass so that it comes around the outside of the hedgehog and my toadstools, but I don't want to go over him. So here's a little trick that you may or may not know. You can make a mask now. I've got my mask ready if I can find it. Here he is. I just took a bit of grid paper or any kind of coffee paper and I stamped him out and I've cut him out with my snips. Not terribly accurately, but enough that I've got the shape of the image. You can see I've already used this mask. Okay, you can use a, a piece of grid paper like I have because it's nice and thin, or you could use a piece of post-it note and then you've got the sticky on there which will help it stay where you want it to go. So I'm going to use it to cover up my stamped hedgehog like that. And then I'm going to stamp over the top, which means then we won't have got all over our hedgehog and we know where he is. Hello Louise, are you a new demo? Welcome to you, welcome to our evening paper crafting session. You're very welcome. How new are you? And lovely to have you. We're a very friendly bunch. I'm gonna stamp the other stamp in soft suede. It's like a mid-brown color and I think it'll give a nice, um, deep image without it being too dark. My sample I did in black, but I'm gonna try it in this and hope for the best, because I think it might be better. So I'm just gonna stamp it up. When I have a large stamp, I like to take the ink to the stamp and then I can see that it's really well covered rather than the other way around. I'm gonna stamp it over the top. This is the fun bit where we see if it works. Oh, yeah, we have that problem, Louise. I know. One stamp at a time, that's where you start. <laughs> Honestly, it's fabulous. Right, I want to line it up so that it's in, you know, he is sitting in the right place. Oh, I think I just moved my hedgehog. We're going to stamp over the top. Do you have a favourite, Louise, at the moment? What was in your starter kit? Right, let's see. Okay, so we've stamped him out. I think it's had a bit of black, I don't know. And there you can see, you can see the hedgehog and the mushrooms, the hostels, but he's that's not overlapping it, which is great, it's what I wanted. I also want some of my grass either side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my chamois, look at my chamois, this is after I've wet it <laughs> and rinsed it. I'm gonna give my toadstool a good clean Look, it cleans it like magic. If you haven't got one of these, you definitely need one of these without a shadow of a doubt. No baby wipes, no bits of baby wipes stringy, messing up your stamps, right? And it just washes, fab. Right, so that's nice and clean. The Hippo Happy Nurse is so lovely, that one. It's really sweet, excellent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask off a little bit of the toadstool and I think I'm going to do it on this side with a bit of my washi tape. This is another trick if you want to do part of a stamp and not all of it. So you cover up the bit you don't want before you ink it. You do need a chamois. There are only a few things. It is a, such a cute hedgehog, isn't it, Jan? There are only a few things that I would say are a must. The rest is all pretty much choice, like, you know, what you fancy kind of things. A chamois, I would say, is one of those essentials. <laughs> chamois and a trimmer. Okay, so I've got my grass here, and I'm going to go back in with the same colour ink to match, and I'm going to ink it, but I've covered this lot up. Like so. And then I'm going to remove it before I stamp it down, because you don't want that all over your paper. So hopefully we should just get the grass with a bit of luck. It's called Walk in the Woods and that hedgehog is very cute. There you go. So you just got the grass 
there and I'm going to clean it again and do the same the other side. This is quite a juicy ink pad. This is a new soft suede one and uh, it's very inky. So I'm going to do the same the other side. Take a little bit of washi tape. I'm not going to worry terribly because I can control where the ink goes a little bit. Yeah, it's a great trick, this one, Margaret. You can use it on all sorts of stamps. If you want half a sentiment, or if something says happy birthday and then something else you don't like and you just want the happy birthday, it's a great way of getting more out of your stamps. Yeah, the um, chamois is brilliant. It does clean everything off. Okay, so here we go. It's a bit more there. So we've just got a bit of grass all around him now. And I can put that away to the side. I can put it on my chamois to just keep it making everything from inky. Excuse my arm. Right, this is the fun bit. It does take a little while, this next bit, but it's all good. So we've got our lovely image and we've got our little scene that we've created. And next we're going to do a little bit of colouring. So I've got some of the alcohol blends. So if Lucy's around, she might be pleased because she likes those, doesn't she? Now, I've got a lot of different colours here, but I won't be using them all. I just grabbed some that I thought would be nice. And I'm going to... Yeah, Joe, it's hedgehogs. And this card is inspired by you and your Horace and your new hedgehog. So I won't be able to see all the comments for a bit because I'm going to sit down instead of looking over the top of my camera. Um, I'm going to sit down and do a little bit of colouring in. So let's just take a couple of the colours we might need. This This is a crumb cake, light and dark. And then I've got a, an, a bronze one. It's called bronze. I'm going to use that one. And I'm going to colour in Horace. Now, I don't know if he's going to look exactly like Horace, but we're going to try. Right. So with a nib end... I'm going to colour in the shaded bits where you think more depth of colour might be on his little face. He's so adorable, isn't he? We, uh, we rescued a hedgehog that was wandering around once, a few it was years ago. He was wandering around the road. He was in the road in the middle of the day. I think I was actually bringing the kids home from school or something. And they should not be doing that. So he was obviously dis distressed. So I took him to Tiggy Winkles, which is just down the road. And they said, yeah, he was very malnourished and they looked after him. And then released him back into the wild once he was better. So. This one is the light of the same shade. So with the alcohol blends, you get a light and a dark in each shade. And that allows you to blend and create shade. Now, I've never been one of these fantastic people who are great at colouring. I think they're very simple to use. I don't have much skill. I just do what I like. And that's the point, isn't it? Have fun. So I'm filling in all the gaps and I'm going round and round in circular motions where the darker pen was and it just gets rid of any harsh lines so it just looks like shading. That's his little feet. Yeah. He's adorable, isn't he? Like that, okay. I will put a bit more colour on him else because I'm going to use the bronze one on there. But I'm just going to go in with some green. So I've got, let's move these. I've got Old Olive, same, it's one colour, but I've got the light and dark pen in each. And I'm going to go over for my grass and quickly do some grass. So it's not going to be anything too technical. I'm just doing a bit of grass shading. Bit of freestyle. <laughs> I 
and you can do this any colour you want. So brown grasses. I'll probably put, put a bit of brown in there as well. I might have to put the light on just so that I can see a little bit better what I'm doing. Goodness, it's not a very bright evening. You can put as much grass as you want, like that. I'm going to go over it a little bit with the light, just to create a bit of shade. Yeah, so I'm not very technical. his grass, that's his back feet. Just a little bit of that and I'll go in with some brown as well. I think I'll just go in with a little bit of crumb cake there. I'll have a little bit of... Oh! Sit there. Oh, he's so naughty. He, saw... he likes to look out the craft room window and uh, he can see somebody coming by. I don't know if he thinks they're coming in his garden or something. He's just... So a little bit of that. Right, this is the fun bit that I like. I'm gonna color in these toadstools and then we can see a bit of contrast. How are you all doing? I hope you're all right. Good evening, Nanette, it's lovely to have you. Just had a quick peek. I can't really see the comments while I'm sat down, but I can see a little bit. I am just gonna color this one in. So the toadstools, I'm just colouring in there like stalks in light crumb cake colour. You could take a lot more time of your colouring in than I will. Okay, so we've got that. I'm going to go in a bit with this uh, darker shade. Give a bit more definition. And then we're gonna have some fun with the toadstool tops. That should work. Right, toadstool top. So I've got to remember when I did the sample what colours I use. So if I move these ones out of the way for now, I've got a whole load of kind of these colours here. Um, and I know that I did a tiny little bit and I used Poppy Parade and I think I used the light. I'll go with the light because I can always add the dark if I don't think it's uh, red enough. But I don't, you can't really take it away. So I'm just going to go in with the light because I can't remember what I used. And I'm doing those little shaded areas again. I'm going to try and create a bit of colour in this, in these toadstools. And then, I'm pretty sure I used the yellow so saffron down the other end. So sort of this, this side of the, the top of him, on all of them. This one is dark, so saffron. So if you're not used to stamping up, you'll know you'll you'll um you won't know that all the colours match all the cardstock and the inks. It's really easy to match them together. Now this, these are Cajun craze, and that's dark and this is light. And I think we're gonna go for the light next, which is quite a much darker colour than the than the um, saffron, but we're going to go with that. Okay, I might use the light one of these. This is the light one, isn't it? I use 
My link in it so cold. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat. Right, let's go over back over with the so saffron. See if I can find the other colour that I used to blend here. I think it was a uh, Calypso Coral I had out earlier. So I've grabbed the Calypso Coral. Yeah, this is it. So I'm pretty sure it was this one. blend it all in because it's a bit more of that kind of pinky ready feel to it which is what I was aiming for we'll go with a bit of a yellow saffron and blend it in see if we can get a graduated feel so I've got my grid paper protecting my table if you're using alcohol based pens like these are Make sure you always put something underneath because they will bleed through. That's kind of the nature of them. So there's our mushrooms done. And I'm going to just come back in with a bit of the bronzer. Uh, here we are. So here's the bronzer. And I'm just going to give our little hedgehog a bit more, a bit more colour. He's so cute. <laughs> really cute. It's just like a little line drawing. There we are. Put back in with the light one, and then I think we're pretty much done with the colouring in. Mm, oi. Having him off and mustn't park. Right. Okay. I think a little bit more green and we're done. What do you think? Do you think that we're done nearly? Okay. So that's our little scene. Our little Horace. Okay, so what I did was I got some, I've got a card base. I'm going to stand up again now so I can see. Oh, you like it? I'm glad. I'm so glad. That's good. So what I did was I tried to match some of these tones. So this is Bumblebee. These are our two of our brand new ink colours. This is like a yellow, a nice deep yellow. It's Bumblebee. I'm going to turn this light off again. See how that looks. That's Bumblebee. And then I have got Cinnamon Cider. It's gorgeous, the Cinnamon Cider colour. It's going to be great for autumnal cars, actually. And then this one's going to go on top. So these are just half a centimetre smaller each way around. I'm going to glue those down, I think. I'll glue these two down anyway. Just grab my glue. He's very sweet. that one on. I like the liquid glue because it gives you a bit of wriggle room. The Tombow adhesive gives a bit of wriggle room. And then I'm going to put that one on there. I haven't decided if I want a bit of ribbon down the bottom so I'll leave that for a second. Right and I've got a bit more 
scrap of the bumblebee cardstock and I'm going to do a tiny bit of heat embossing, nothing too technical. So I've got my Versamark and I've got the stamp that I'd like to use. And I haven't put the I haven't put the sticker on it. How silly. Right. This Versamark, it's a very it's a clear ink pad, but it's not ink, it's like a sticky substance that holds the embossing powder on it. Is it better with a light on or off? Tell me, ladies. So I'm just gonna stamp it down like so. And then I'm going to get my white embossing powder so it will become apparent. You will be able to see it in a minute. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I've got a tub. It's an old tub and I've got... I don't know what that is in there. Goodness knows. Right. I've got a spoon. Actually, I don't need this one. Let's move that one out of the way. Off, off, okay, off it is. Yeah, less shadow, isn't it? I get very focused on what I'm doing and I don't notice. Thank you, ladies. I need that. Okay, this says, the world needs more of what you are. So I'm just gonna heat that one. <clears throat> just plugging in my heat gun. Ladies, don't leave your heat gun plugged in when you're not using it. It's a fire hazard. <laughs> so here we go. The world needs more of what you are. I love seeing your videos, Joe. Absolutely love it. And this card will be coming to you. Every day, Joe posts a really uplifting video to cheer us all up, and it's fab. And I love seeing her hoggies, her hedgehogs that come into her garden. So nice. So there we go. You can see I've embossed that. I'm going to cut it out. This is the fun bit. Let's just take that bit away. I might actually just emboss again in a minute, but not for a second. I'm just going to cut around my letters. Nothing too hard. I'm just taking the... I'm moving the card. Oh, you're welcome. I'm moving the card, not the scissors. And it just makes the cutting out so much easier. And I have a really good pair of snips like these ones. And you're away. Oh, I'm glad. I haven't been for my walk yet. I've done a bit of walking, but I haven't been for my walk, if that makes sense. So after this, I'll be able to see if I can spot any wildlife. We see a lot. We see all sorts around the lake. So I've got the world needs more of you, of what you are, I mean. And then I'm going to just emboss again. Because I want, one of, I want the word you. I want the word you again. Gonna heat that one. Has anyone else seen any more any hedgehogs this summer? I'm sure we get them around here, but I've never seen one in our garden. I don't think they'd come because of our dog, to be honest. The world needs more of what you are, but we did have one out the front once that we fed one summer, but that was a few years ago. Hot on my hand. Got to be careful I don't like burn my hands. There we are. So that's now heat embossed. Oops, that is sticky. I thought it was already dry. There we are. There, there you go. I'm going to cut that out. Yeah, 
You do actually, that's quite true. You've got three doggies and you've still got two hedgehoggies. <laughs> so I'm cutting out the U, just the U. I don't know what the dog would make of a hedgehog. I think he'd just look at it, to be honest. Just, a, just the U is all I needed, all right. So I've got you, and I'm gonna get a dimensional foam pad. So these are our regular dimensional foam pads, the double-sided ones, and these are the weeny tiny ones that we do. So I'm gonna use one of those to stick on my U. Very easy, makes life so much easier. You don't have to cut up any of the big ones. Oh. <laughs> and they don't get stuck to your scissors and all over the shop. There we go. And I'm going to cover up that U with my, with this U. Does that make sense? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, just to give it a bit of depth. The world needs more of what you are. Okay, and that's going to go on the front. And I'm just going to glue that one flat. Oh, Margaret, you've had a hedgehog in your garden too, have you? How lovely. Do you get to see him, him or her, he or she? And have you named yours? Okay, I'm just gonna grab some ribbon. I'll be one second. I haven't decided on my ribbon. So let's have a look at them. Oh, that was a bit loud. I've got a few choices of ribbon. This is the faux suede that comes with the World Suite. And then I have got the In Colour Bumblebee that goes with the cardstock. Always oh, come twice. Oh, that's exciting. So that's the Bumblebee. And that is the Faux Suede, which I rather like. And then we've got some gingham in the Bumblebee as well. rather pretty too. So which one am I going to use ladies? Shall I use the bumblebee, the gingham or the faux suede? Which one shall I put on there before I stick it down? You tell me. I'll wait on you to tell me what you want. I'm going to grab some cardstock while I'm waiting. The suede, I think I'm leaning towards the suede as well. Although they actually all look really nice. The bumblebee, you could have the green and overlap the bumblebee. What green? Oh, this one. Could do. Right, I'm going to go for the bumblebee then. Shall I go for this bumblebee, the plain bumblebee one? This one, because the other one is gingham. Okay, we'll have more votes for bumblebees, so we'll go for that. I'm just cutting up my inside layer because I didn't, I forgot about that one. How silly. So I've got my handy trimmer. Just cutting up the inside. Right, okay. Let's pop this one on then. I'm going to make life easy. Just going to lay it down. See, you can see where it bleeds through. I'm going to use a bit of washi tape. 
plain, plain it is. Yeah, so you can see where the alcohol blend pens blend pens bleed through. Can't say that very well. Looks like candy corn. <laughs> There we are. Okay. So it's going to go on here. And then I'm going to decide what I'm going to do with that ribbon. I'm going to do any more with it. So I've got my seal. This is the new adhesive. No, it's not. That's a, that, I don't know what that is. Where's my seal gone? Oh, that's my scrap one that's a temporary adhesive, that one. This is my seal, my stamping seal. It's a new one and it's uh, really, really good. If you're not a huge fan of the liquid glue, although I think this does has a different use really to the liquid glue, but it will do most of the same things. It's really good. You don't need a lot. It's just a tape runner. It is permanent though, and it doesn't give you as much wriggle room as the liquid. There, there's that. Okay, now I've left this a bit loose because I'm going to, I might put a little knot of ribbon on there and decide where it's going to go. It's loose, you see, you can move it where you want it to go. Not actually that convinced. So, has anybody been doing anything fun lately? Have you managed to go anywhere or do anything yet? Things are easing up and we can meet people and we can have another person to the house. We can do things. We haven't done very much yet. That's better. I've been working a lot. <clears throat> so is hubby. There we are. Has anybody done anything nice? I know Joe's been doing some nice things with a couple of little trips. There we are, there's our bow. It's not even a bow, but I do like a flat knot. And then I'm gonna put the inside in and I'm probably gonna stamp the hoggy in there again. And I think I'll stamp him in the soft suede this time just to soften him a bit. I'm not gonna color him in, I'm just gonna pop him inside. There we are. So, oh, I'm glad you like it. I really love this set. It caught my eye. I can't remember which page it is in the catalogue, but it caught my eye. There's another one with a big, I think it's a duck, might be a goose, near it. Um, but this hedgehog one caught my eye and I was like, oh, I really like that one. It's a little bit different and cute. But I like the line drawing. It's not too cutesy, it's fun. There we are. So he's in there. We went around the garden centre with a friend. You did 45 pencil boxes for church kids. Jean, you're amazing. Wow, well done you. That's amazing. Right, let's grab an envelope. Here we go. Just going to stamp him on the front. Oh, I bet you're exhausted after doing all that, Joe. It must feel quite full on because we've all been in such a slow pattern for such a long time. And then you go out and everything's so stimulating, isn't it? And 
The environment's so busy all of a sudden. There he is. He or she is. Uh, oh, Sylvia. I read. I bet you were, Jean. 45 pencil boxes. That's a lot for you to make. Well done. I'm glad you like it, Sylvia. You're not late. But this is such a lovely set. It's called Walk in the Woods. And it's got this nice leaf. And it's got him. These are great sentiments. Thanks for being marvellous. The world needs more of what you are. Everything will be okay. Wishing you every kind of wonderful. The adventure begins. And I did have some fun this afternoon. I was um, colouring in this leaf. It's like, is it an oak? Let me show you what I was doing. So I was colouring in the leaf and having a bit of fun with that. I just cut it out. And all I did was I stamped it in cinnamon cider and used an aqua painter, which... Just spread some of the ink that's already in there. So you could, you know, you could have put him, it was a bit big for what I wanted, but you could have popped it around your sentiment. If you had a die cut, you could have tucked it under. Could have had two or three, I did stamp a few. So <clears throat> that would have been a really easy one to add on. Here's my original one. It's very similar. They always come out slightly different with the blending, but similar and the other thing that you could do that I like the idea of, but I haven't done, but I might do, is we have this crystal effects. It's called Shimmery Crystal Effects. And it's a bit like glossy accents, if you like. It's a le almost like a glitter glue. And I thought it would be nice to just fill in these and let it set hard. And then you'd have a nice glossy mushroom toadstool. So I might do that and then take a photo and share it so you can see what it looked like. But that's our card for tonight. I hope you love it. And I hope you're inspired to get the Walk in the Woods stamp set. It's fab. Good evening, Claire. I hope you're all right. I'm just finishing up our card for tonight. And I, I was very inspired by Jo, her daily video. She really cheers me up. She's got a little Horace the Hedgehog who visits her garden every night and she records him on her night cam. So I'm going to send this one to Jo. All right, ladies, I shall be back on Tuesday for coffee and cards. If any of you need any supplies, you know where it is. You know where my shop is. I'll leave the link somewhere under the, under the post, if you like, if you want any goodies. If you need anything from me, please let me know. I'd love to help you. Bye, Jean. I've got to go too. Take care, everybody. Thank you, Joanne. That's lovely. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully see you Tuesday. Take care. Have a great weekend. Bye.